Hi, I'm Will. Uh, this is a thing I believe that they call a vlog. Um, I think it stands for video log, but i am uh, got a bit of a reputation for being hopeless with technology. So uh, all my task is, is to talk at a telephone and tell you a little bit about how I'm doing and hopefully it'll all work all right. Um, so I'm doing a thing called Arch to Arc. Uh, Arch being marble, London. Arc being Lac de Triomphe um, in Paris, which, as I'm a bit of a philistine, I think is an arch that's named after a famous race, but I'm assured that the arch was built first. Anyway, uh, I will be getting from London to Paris by running the first bit to Dover, 87 miles, swimming the English Channel, and then bicycling 181 miles to Paris. Um, so it's certainly going to be quite a considerable challenge and fairly exhausting. In fact, today is the Tuesday after Easter and I've had what feels like quite long training sessions with a um, 121 mile bike, did a 30 mile run yesterday, did a couple of four mile sprint runs, did a bit of boxing training on Thursday night. So quite a full on weekend and I'm pretty exhausted today but that's um, about a tenth of what I'm going to end up being, end up doing in, in August. So fingers crossed the training goes well and um, I'm going to show you a few bits and pieces. The first bit is a run that I did uh, right at the start of January and it particularly focuses on my biggest problem which is I don't really feel myself properly. Uh, don't really believe in gels, but I probably should eat more pasta and flapjacks. So here's a clip from a run a while ago, and I'll see you in a bit. So I've just got back from my first New Year's run with my very snazzy new backpack. One of these puppies that I kindly received from one of my children for Christmas absolutely excellent lots of stuff in there packed it with potatoes um, lots of water uh, but it didn't stop me from going to the garage and eating a lot of Rocky Road a crispy cake a bar of chocolate a hoisin duck wrap a packet of crisps a hot chocolate a mocha that was after 20 miles. Um, and then the last 15 were a combination of absolutely fine and feeling like I was rocking it, and two absolutely awful as I crashed down from the most enormous amount of sugar. So I think I shall probably uh, take little and often in the future rather than smashing it all in a one. Still 36 miles on the road, about seven hours. Good Sunday's work. Okay, I'm back. Um, and you're still here, which is very encouraging. Um, so I thought it might be useful to give you a little bit of an idea about this event to show you some of the experience that I've had already. So um, in September 2020, I swam the English Channel. Um, I swam it, in effect, purely as a recce for this event. Um, and it was a it was a fantastic day, but goodness me, it was hard work. Not only was it hard work for me swimming it, um, for the avoidance of doubt, that is just in a pair of speedos, and I'll be doing arch to arc just in a pair of speedos. Some people do it in, or most people do it in wetsuits, but I'm going what they call skins. Uh, but it was also very challenging for my crew on the boat. Um, where Hannah, my wife, and my brother, along with Danny, were amazing. So here's a few bits of video clip, couple of photographs of that day, and it just goes to show that this event has been, well, I've been training for it for, for far longer than that, probably five, six years, perhaps even longer. So when we do Arch to Arc, it'll be the culmination of quite a lot of hard work, but good fun at the same time. Range 
we've now got two in. We've got um, Danny on the far side, Will on the near side. Just having to up the pace to make sure we get into land to get round the cap. Big push this bit, really hard test. It's doing well. He's just got to keep this up for quite a while now. This is probably the hardest part of the swim. We've really been having to shout, give him a bit of emotional support now. Sun shining, give his fella. He's <laughs> getting a bit more emotional this now. Just got to keep this up. Now is a solo swimmer, William Burrett, with a Congratulations, William! Excellent, excellent! Congratulations! So that was 15 and a half hours in the English Channel. And if I get anywhere close to that time, um, this time, having done a very long run before, I'll be absolutely delighted. But I think that's probably out of the question. Anyway, we'll see on the day. Um, the most important thing about this challenge is I will be doing it for charity. Uh, when I did the swim, I didn't do it for charity because I knew that this one, the big one, probably the last one uh, was coming up and so therefore this was the time to ask people to support me uh, if they're able to. Uh, I've chosen or I'm in the process of cho choosing three charities. At the time that I'm videoing this it isn't quite all finalised but hopefully by the time you're looking at this website you'll see a section that says charities or donations um, and I'd be really grateful if you could have a look there. Uh, one will be a mental health charity, uh, one will be more of a physical charity and the final one will be for Ukraine where I know a number of people have already done their bit for Ukraine but a chance um, if people have promised or pledged that they will and haven't got around to it, it would be great if you could sponsor me um, to help them. So uh, charity is a really, really important part of this. The charities have been selected by various members of the team and the crew um, and they all, for their own different reasons, mean a great deal to us. So any support would be hugely welcome and thank you very much.